Ronaldinho's son recently trained with Barcelona's first team. Here is Joao Mendes' duel against Inigo Martinez. The defender's face is tense because he's facing the son of the legendary Ronaldinho. And then there is Joao versus Marcos Alonso. Ronaldinho Jr. has the ball in both situations, dominating his opponent. Is it possible that the son of the Barcelona legend has made a progress so rapid he is already allowed to train with the main roster? Joao is now 19 years old, and he has been under contract with Barcelona for more than a year. The guy has received quite high compliments and praise for obvious reasons. That said, the top talent has been off the radar since signing the contract last February, and there was very little information available about him. Luckily, we did manage to make a video for our subscribers, which we will also leave a link to. Throughout the year, Ronnie Jr. tried to find his place at Barcelona squad. He was an 18-year-old beast who was supposed to make a name for himself in the football world. But instead, his development stalled and thus he first played in the Juvenil B team, but later earned the promotion to the Juvenil A. Juvenil A is La Masia's graduation team, which brings together the most talented U19 players from the club system. In other words, we will soon be able to congratulate Joao on another graduation in his life. So it was with Juvenil A that Ronaldinho's son was invited for a training session with the first team, as reported by the Kotlin's popular Twitter accounts, which added that Xavi was monitoring the boy closely. At 19 years old, the son of the Brazilian star currently dazzles with his dribbling at Barca's Juvenil B and earned a chance to train under the guidance of Xavi. The Argentine newspaper Diario Oli described the young man. Some fans were delighted to see him in action, excited to see Joao Mendes following in his father's footsteps, wishing him a successful journey ahead. They wrote, Large foreign media outlets such as TNT Sports also joined in. Is there a place for the boy in Xavi's team? The author of the post asks. Interestingly enough, on March 21st, it was Ronaldinho Sr. who celebrated his 44th birthday, making Joao's first training session with Barca's main man perhaps the best gift for his dad. Leave us a like if you are happy for Ronnie's son and wish the wizard a happy birthday. However, the reality turned out to be much harsher from the bravado about Joao's career breakthrough and his forthcoming debut for Barca's first team. Barca first team today had a joint training session with some players from Barca Athletic and Juvenil side. Tony Fernandes, Oscar Gistao, Pocho Roman, Pau Prim, Andres Cuenca, Edu Sanchez, Brian Farinas, Thomas Marquez, Alexis Almedo, Manu Vila, Joao Mendes and few others were included. Barca Buzz gives more details about this training session. Indeed, everyone was shocked with Ronaldinho's son's appearance at Barcelona's main roster training session as the hype around the boy still lingers on, but we always tell our subscribers only the truth. Espacio Masia, a specialized account dedicated to Barca Athletic and La Masia, revealed the truth about Ronaldinho Jr.'s current situation and that training session. Here's what they write. Let's calm things down right away. First, Joao Mendes was not specifically at first team training. It was the entire Juvenil A team that was training together with the first team. Second, Joao is unlikely to follow in his father Ronaldinho's footsteps. He plays extremely little with Juvenil A. Originally a right winger, he now plays as a left back, coming on when it's already 3-0 for example. Unfortunately, he's not good enough, either in terms of technique or vision. He doesn't have the level of his partners. His contract expires this summer. Apparently, there are no plans to offer Ronaldinho's son a new contract. Moreover, the fact that Joao got transferred to a new position implies that the Spanish club is looking for an optimal solution for the youngster who hasn't been able to prove his worth as a right winger. On YouTube, one can find clips of him performing in the left-back position, for example, during the match versus CD San Francisco. Joao looked pretty confident in this role, and maybe the coaches of the Barcelona Academy just pointed out the direction in which the Brazilian should develop. Look how well he executes sliding tackles. Or how easily he neutralizes the threat in this episode. He just ate his opponent. And in this clip, one can only envy his equanimity. Ronnie Jr. also succeeded in displaying some dribbling, good passing, not to mention a superb diagonal. However, in all fairness, it should be noted that the world media covered Joao Mendes' progress back in February. Ronaldinho's son, Joao Mendes, is gradually adapting at Barca. He has played 238 minutes this season for Juvenil A, in a total of 19 matches. Despite not having scored a goal so far, there are good reports at the club about his commitment, effort and humility, reported Barcelona journalist Gabriel Sanz. 
In his Instagram posts, Joao demonstrates a firm intention to become not just a professional footballer, but one of the very best in the field. I had a purpose before anyone had an opinion. Ronaldinho's son wrote on February 20th, posting a photo of himself. Quite telling message, isn't it? There is no doubt about the efforts Joao is putting into becoming a professional footballer. Just take a look at these photos. Nevertheless, the general opinion about Ronnie Jr. now looks something like this. He doesn't look to have the talent to make it here, but seems like he can make a professional football career in a Tier 2 level, which honestly will be more success than what most talents who try to career in football achieve. This comment was taken from Reddit under one of the news reports about Joao, and in our opinion, it fully matches the reality he is going through at the moment. Sure thing, he has a great potential, but it has not yet been revealed. Therefore, there is a high probability of Joao Mendes leaving Barcelona next summer. Sport S reports that the club doesn't expect anything extraordinary from the player, but they are genuinely pleased with his attitude and efforts. Seems like the journalists who have been writing and discussing the friendship between Laporta and Ronaldinho Sr. since the first day of Joao Mendes' move to Barcelona were absolutely right. The transfer was a gift from the president to the club's legend. In any case, his stay at Barcelona and the football school the team has joined can bring a huge step forward in his career and if he uses the experience he has gained in the right way, he can definitely achieve his goals. And that's how it goes, folks. Guys, leave us a like if you would have been interested in an update on the success of Ronaldinho's son in the number one game. Write your impressions of Joao Mendes in the comments down below and let's think together which club he should join to actually be able to make his way in professional top-flight football. Maybe he should return to Brazil? Write what you think of it. It was Inside Football. We watch football from a different angle. Check out the suggested videos and stay tuned to our channel. Bye-bye!